In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get as far as possible in the chest raid in Pet Simulator 99. So yeah, inside the most recent update, the brand new massive tech world update, inside of the last area, we actually have a chest raid that occurs every 12 hours. And yeah, it's actually a pretty OP event, and I definitely suggest you guys do it, but there is a lot of things you actually have to do if you want to get pretty far into the last, inside the areas. So yeah, make sure you guys watch the entire video so you guys can see everything. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So yeah, the chest rate is about to start in three minutes, so we do have a little bit of time before it does start. And yeah, also I have actually been grinding the first area and trying to get some huge happy computers, and I actually have been pretty successful finally. If you guys saw it in the last video, I unfortunately did not hatch anything after opening for a while, but in the last like 24 hours, I've actually gotten pretty lucky. If we go ahead and scroll down, as you can see, I did hatch two normal happy computers, which is pretty good. But then somehow, when I was playing overnight, I hatched a golden, shiny, huge happy computer. So yeah, I have no clue how I got lucky enough to actually somehow get this, but I'm definitely not going to complain. And yeah, I definitely got very, very lucky actually somehow getting this thing. If I was able to get this in Rainbow, it would probably be like in super overpowered and really insane. But yeah, I'm probably going to end up keeping it because it is a golden and it's shiny, so it should be doing some pretty good damage for us. So yeah, definitely pretty nice. But the first thing you want to do in order, if you want to actually try and get to a far room, is you do need to get the strongest pet in the game if you can. You do need to try and get to the last area and get the strongest pet that you can get inside of the egg. As you can see, but the strongest one I have is the M6 prototype in Rainbow. If I could get it in shiny, it would definitely be pretty overpowered, but I'm definitely going to keep this pet because that's pretty good. But yeah, you definitely need a very strong pet if you want to be able to reach a pretty far room. This is definitely the most important thing probably out of the entire tips that I can give you guys. And yeah, other than that, after that I guess. The next thing is you want to do is if you can, you want, if you do have a lot of gems or just a lot of huge pets, you want to make sure to definitely equip them. Because it's going to help out a ton in the raids and allow you to get a lot further. Because basically the pets will be doing significantly more damage and you will be able to progress further than what you actually would if you just had a bunch of normal pets just like this. So yeah, if you can, definitely get huge pets, but if you can't, it's all good. You'll still be able to get decently far inside the, the rooms. And then yeah, next thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and go over to your items and go down to your buffs. Because you're definitely going to need to go ahead and pop some of them. I need to go ahead and use some of these bundle of toys real quick. And yeah, make sure you go ahead and use some of the tennis balls is definitely the first thing you're going to need. Next thing, you want to use some toy bones if you have them, and then some apple fruits, and then some squeaky toys, and also some rainbow fruits. The other fruits you can use if you want to, but you don't really need them because it doesn't really increase damage at all. And if you do also have the Christmas cookie, you can go ahead and use that, but you do not need it. And yeah, that's pretty much all you can do for the boost. However, for the potions, you definitely need to make sure you use some pretty good potions. I'm going to go ahead and use this pop this damage potion 8 right now, and there we go. And yeah, you don't really need any of the, like, coins or any of the other ones. You just really pretty much just need damage. That's all you really need. And yeah, once you go ahead and pop a damage potion, you should be good. Go ahead and pop the best one that you have, probably, so you can get as far as you can. Moving on to the enchants. You're going to need some pretty good enchants if you do have a lot of slots. I actually do not have this rank 20 slot yet, but I might get it in the future. I don't know. Forming up the ranks does take a very long time, so I guess we'll see if I can get it or not. But yeah, I'm using four critical seven books right now, which is a little pretty good. And then I have two strong pet 7 and then a strong pet 6. If I could get a little bit if I can get a better book, I definitely would, but I unfortunately am not able to get enough gems right now. Or they're just pretty expensive, or I haven't even been able to combine them currently because I just ran out of books from grinding. And then, yeah, final book you want to use is a tap power six book if you can. And obviously, I'm not sure if you guys will have this many enchant slots, and if you don't, just use a mix of the criticals and strong pets and just leave in one tap power enchant and you should be good. And yeah, that pretty much is everything you can really do pretty much to uh, do more damage in the areas. I guess I could go ahead and just pop a cocktail potion as well, but you definitely do not need to do this. I'm not sure if it'll even increase how much damage I do, but we'll go ahead and use it to see if we can get any further. And yeah, here we go. It's about to start in three seconds. And also, last thing is you have to make sure you guys do have an auto clicker and just set it as fast as possible because you need to be clicking very quickly if you want to get through the rooms. And yeah, we are going pretty fast right now. We're definitely moving very quick. Hopefully, I'll be able to beat my record. I think it was like room like 42 or something. But yeah, you definitely also need an auto clicker because you're going to need to click very quickly to do a lot of damage. 
And yeah, the raids do last for 10 minutes. So you do have a decent bit of time to get a little bit further. I wish it low-key may have been 5 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Because having to constantly grind for 10 minutes is definitely a little bit tedious. I kind of wish it was 5 minutes. Just so you're not sitting here grinding for 10 minutes straight and you can like either lose connection or something could happen very easily, I feel like. But yeah, I went ahead and used pretty much everything I need to be using in order to get as far as possible. So hopefully we can actually go ahead and beat our record. I think we should be able to, hopefully. So yeah, we just need to get to room 42, and I think I might be able to. We're making a good pace so far. We're on 18 in a minute and a half. Definitely pretty decent. And yeah, I'm pretty sure also for the chest rooms, I think it just varies on, like, it's just chant completely on chance. I don't think it matters. Or you can, like, predict what the next chest room will be. I think it's just completely random. But yeah, to be honest, I think the best chest rooms to get are either with the ones with, like, one chest or two chests, just because they're the easiest to get through and you don't have to worry about destroying a lot of things. The rooms that have nine chests are definitely very annoying to do, because it does take the most time for sure. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through all these areas, and I guess I'll come back when the timer gets a little bit closer to running out, and we'll see how far we actually get. Alright, we are definitely making a lot better time than the previous runs I did. And yeah, room 42, which is the room I'm in right now, is the furthest I actually got to. So I think we're going to be able to beat it by a couple rooms, hopefully. And yeah, we have one minute left. And oh my goodness, we have gotten this nine chest room like every single time, I feel like. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get through this. And maybe we can get to room 45. I don't know yet. It's going to be pretty close. Okay, we got another nine chest room. Oh my goodness. Our luck is actually insane on getting these nine chest rooms. It had, like, half of the rooms had to be, have been nine chests. There's no way I actually got this room this many times. That's actually insane. But yeah, it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting past this room, unfortunately. So we got all the way up to room 44, which is still pretty decent, I guess. And yeah, we did a decent amount of damage, but I would have hoped to get a little bit further. So yeah, we got to room 44, which is sub pretty decent, I guess. I wish I would have gotten a little bit further. But yeah, it seems like for right now, currently, that's where we're going to be ending up, I guess. I'm not sure exactly if the cocktail potion actually did help or not, but I definitely made it to two rooms further than I did before, so maybe it did. Or maybe I made it further from getting the shiny golden happy computer and maybe two other ones adding to the team, I don't really know. Yeah, currently there's 546,000 huge happy computers that have been hatched, so there is not that many left. So yeah, I definitely suggest you guys continue hatching the eggs if you have not been already, before the huge happy computers actually do go away. And yeah, if you guys also didn't know, for the clan battles, you actually it actually does take how many stars you get for every single raid you do. So yeah, it's not just like if you get the most stars or to the highest room one time, you have to consecutively complete the raid over and over if you want to get a lot of clan points for your clan. And yeah, it is every 12 hours, so it is a bit of a time dedication if you do want to try it and complete every single raid. But yeah, I guess it just depends on what you actually want to do. But yeah, the chest raid event is definitely pretty good, and I definitely suggest you guys do it if you can. And yeah, hopefully uh, this video helped you out so you can get to a little bit of a further room that you haven't already. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs. I really appreciate if you guys subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.